ocean is our lifeblood, covering over 70% of planet Earth and home to some of the most diverse ecosystems and indigenous species. Yet these ecosystems face unprecedented threats from climate change, pollution, overfishing, habitat destruction, among other hazards. The degradation of coral reefs is a pressing concern, primarily really driven by coastal development, sedimentation, marine pollution, anchor damage and inland pollution. Harmful fishing practices and sediment input further exacerbate the vulnerability of these ecosystems. Especially Acropora species of this coral reef have been experiencing damage from the climate change. Also, there are some threats also from in the mangrove areas from the rising sea level, they also see grass and ecosystem. Nevertheless, given a chance, vulnerable marine species and habitats can spring back and develop resilience to thrive. The 30 by 30 Kunming Montreal Global Biodiversity Framework Target aims to protect 30% of our land and marine environments by 2030. It's an ambitious goal that requires collaboration and robust data sharing. At the Regional Center of Excellence, Eastern and Southern Africa, we believe that protecting our seascapes starts with acknowledging their existence and understanding their contribution to ecosystems and nature. For this reason, the Regional Centre of Excellence Eastern and Southern Africa created a state-of-the-art geoportal to host up-to-date, accurate and comprehensive data on biodiversity, forests and seascape management. Accurate and timely data is critical in our efforts to conserve marine and seascapes biodiversity. It helps us map critical habitats, track endangered species and identify human pressure on marine ecosystems. Through our geoportal, we support decision makers in creating science-backed policies, prioritizing conservation areas and monitoring progress toward achieving the 30 by 30 Global Biodiversity Framework target. Through the Regional Center of Excellence Eastern and Southern Africa Geoportal, we integrate satellite imagery, on-ground research and community-sourced data. This allows us to better understand marine as well as seascape ecosystems and take informed action to protect them. The Mauritius Oceanography is currently using these techniques to do habitat mapping and monitoring, uh, species distribution modeling and coastal dynamics uh, analysis. The integration of AI in marine conservation can help to do data analysis and pattern recognition, for example, predictive modeling and real-time monitoring. Also, we are just using this GIS for information on the sea surface temperature also and the chlorophyll concentration from the MODI satellite and other coastal and marine products. They are using the remote sensing and GIS, although there has been increasing use of underwater camera also and drones to map the status of the marine ecosystem in the marine conservation areas in Zanzibar. It has led to the recovery of marine species population, particularly the fish stocks, and it has enhanced biodiversity within these zones. And MPAs has also enhanced the fisheries uh, breeding and nursery ground. The community has been sensitized and educated about the importance of MPAs and OECM, so they are actively participating in uh, the preservation and conservation. Also, there is a coming back of the some loss of marine species, example dolphin, whale, sea turtle, etc. Also, this good management of fisheries through introduction of fish replacement zones and a closer system. Also, there's a few community-based conservation area where community willingly to themselves to demarcate the area for very positive hotspot for conservation. To achieve these targets, we must strengthen partnerships among member states, NGOs, scientists, indigenous and local communities, ensuring informed decision-making and effective conservation strategies. This collaborative approach is critical for sustainable ecosystem management. Zanzibar is fully committed with that uh, 30 by 30 target. Currently, the initiative to increase more marine conservation area. We have about uh, 2,161 kilometers square of marine resources approximately. But we have, we have the plan to establish 
more 1,253 kilometers square, and we will have a total of about 3,414 kilometers square. First thing is expanding MPAs, uh, identifying and designating new MPAs in ecologically significant areas to increase the total protected marine area. So they are formalizing and supporting existing OECMs to ensure they contribute effectively to conservation targets. Up-to-date data also helps the Regional Centre of Excellence, Eastern and Southern Africa, respond to emerging threats faster, assess conservation interventions and continuously adapt new strategies. When it comes to ecosystem-based adaptation, community-driven projects have focused on restoring mangrove ecosystem while using ecosystem-based adaptation approach. These initiatives aim to enhance coastal protection, support biodiversity and improve livelihoods. Mauritius has also established VMCAs, Voluntary Marine Conservation Areas. These areas are designated to community agreements with local stakeholders actively participating in monitoring and managing, learning how to do coral reef restoration. They are learning how to, to grow corals, to dive. We are planting and growing seaweed in the sea and taking the harvesting the seaweed to produce two byproducts. So first one is food products uh, based on seaweed and second one is uh, biofertilizers so that you know we can uh, counteract the effect of climate change on our land. Providing the coastal community with alternative livelihood options and also there's supporting local community with a soft loan or no interest loan also to have some other business just to live out with the conservation issues. So this is in a nutshell what we're doing here in Zanzibar. It empowers communities and policymakers to take proactive actions to protect our marine and seascape ecosystems for future generations. At the Regional Centre of Excellence, Eastern and Southern Africa, we're not just providing data, we're fostering knowledge exchange and building capacity for sustainable conservation. We try to get the maximum information and share it with everyone so that everyone is on the same page and when we move forward with the project, the project can also be replicated in other areas because we have the baseline data and these data also help to to do other kind of projects which can add up to what we have already started. We need to have this private sector, NGOs, communities, the public to work together. It's, it is very important to involve everybody on board in this. Our seascapes are resilient, but they need our help. By harnessing the power of accurate data, together we can safeguard our marine and seascape biodiversity and achieve the 30 by 30 target. Visit and explore the Regional Centre of Excellence Eastern and Southern Africa Geoportal today and be part of a global effort to protect our marine and seascape ecosystems because thriving ecosystems means a thriving future for us all.